I've just finished building some field strops for a few orders I've had recently and I thought this would be a good opportunity to give an overview of them. Uh, I won't show this one yet because this is a rushed build for myself, you know, I don't really worry about the quality when it's for myself, the, uh, well, the quality of the finish. So I'll just show one of these new ones that I've made. Um, So the, these are field strops, uh, not obviously they're not full size paddle strops or um, like a, a desk block strop. Um, you have a choice of leather or basswood, so they're double sided, so you can have one, like this one is one side basswood and one side leather. The stropping surface itself is, uh, this is 150mm uh, um, by 50mm and the full length of the strop is 200mm. Uh, the leather is about 3.2 mil thick. Uh, the wood in between is 6 mil, and this basswood is about 3.2 mil as well. Uh, they will vary slightly, obviously, being organic materials, but it's about 12 mil total thickness. Um, this uh, you can choose smooth side or coarse side leather. Um, when I use the smooth grain side, I do sand them down, uh, so you know the consistent. The the finish is always consistent because um, you know the the leather can be marked in certain ways um, if it's if the cow is brushed up against barbed wire and and just uh, how it gets to you in in transit uh, this is like I get these pieces laser cut this is uh, kind of a, a bad piece um, but you can see here this hasn't been sanded and you can see the imperfections in it it's also going to have a really light and glassy draw uh, so the smooth side pieces that I sand will have like a slight suede texture, but they're nowhere near, you know, like uh, the coarse side. So I'm just going to put this one away now, uh, you know, because this is a customer's one and I don't want to get anything, any bits of grit in the in the surface of it or, or dent it or do, do any damage to it. So I'll put this away. Um, actually, I'll give you a quick close up of it first. Before I put it away. Now I'll uh, show you uh, one of mine, my personal ones, which are much rougher, not finished as nicely. So this is it. This is a TRC South Pole. I can't remember the blade length on this. I think it's about four and a half inches maybe. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, four and a half, five inches. So I like to hold these strops, kind of palm it, if you can see like that, and just hold along the sides of my fingertips. Um, I, I mean, you can hold it here if you want, but I, you know, you get a bit of this wiggle in there. You could, you could steady it on something, but I just like to hold it in the middle. And it's uh, it's plenty enough stropping surface for, you know, a four and a half inch blade like this. As you can see, that's uh, there's tons of room. Um, that that's one thing that people often ask me about these. They say, you know, oh, I've got a felt neven A1. Is the is the surface large enough for me to strop my felt neven? And uh, yeah, I mean it's it's easily large enough depending on how you strop. So this is a TRC Apocalypse. It's about the same length as the A1. And depending on you know your technique, you can easily strop this in one pass, um, the full length of the blade. And sure, if the strop was twice as long, then you'd have to do half as many strops. Um, or stropping motions, but this diamond compound uh, that I sell is really, really quick cutting. So it's not it's not really a big deal. You're really only going to need to do a few passes with this in the first place. Uh, and so I mean, look, the the knife is the cutting blade is as long as the strop here. And I mean, this is a big blade, and it's easily easily stropping the whole thing. And uh, I mean, let's say your blade was twice the size, you know, you can. Strop the belly a bit and then strop the heel of it a second if that's the way you want to do it. Sorry, I'm using my viewfinder here. 
just drop in, so my angles are going to be all over the place. I'm just going to put some of the knives here on the table alongside this strop, so I know I've given you the dimensions, but maybe it will help give you a better understanding of the size of it. I'm going to try and find some, you know, commonly commonly used knives that you guys might have. Uh, here is a more Garberg. Uh, I'm just trying to find space to put these. Here is a BK-16. What else have we got? Uh, an S1X. So I I think this is a perfect size for a field strop. I mean that's why I designed it that way, right? <laughs> so I obviously think it's a good size. Um, but yeah, there it is. Uh, let me know if you've got any questions. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, you know you can leave a comment in there, or you can drop me a contact uh, message through the contact form on my website.